Greetings, YouTube friends. It's Joyce from Morris Patch and Homestead. Today we're in the kitchen and we are making power bowls. We're starting out in our Dutch oven, our one and only pan, <laughs> because we do not know where our pans are. I am just stir frying onions and then I am going to add a pound of deer meat. We have any instant pot. We have our beans going. We have about 45 more minutes left. We've done a soak of about three hours. I have here our pound of deer meat, and then I've got some um, cucumbers and some radishes and some cilantro. And then I have white rice for those who want white rice. And then I have quinoa for Jean and I. And this is one of those meals that I've been telling you all about that is um, an anti-inflammatory meal. And so I'm going to finish this up and do the meat and kind of show you once the beans are done, how we put this all together. Okay, so I'm gonna put in the deer meat. I only, these packs of deer meat come with two pounds and I cut that in half and used it for two different meals just because I feel like for the four of us, you know, I don't need that much meat. When all of our boys and our girls were at home, you know, we would go through more pounds of meat, but I've never been one to overdo the meat. I always feel like the beans and then the meat and the rice and stuff that we're getting a complete protein. So I'm gonna just continue this and I'll bring you back when the meat is done and show you how we will be putting these elements together and making a power bowl. Okay, the meat is all browned up and we've got some yummy stuff on the bottom. That's always the best. We're just gonna kind of cook that off. We've got our onions in there, just a rough chop. And we seasoned it up with some taco seasoning. So that is good to go. Now we're just still just waiting on the beans and we will put together the bowls. Okay, I forgot to say, I'm gonna be putting an avocado in there and some of these Kalamata un, um, olives and some feta cheese. So these are all elements that you put together um, in your bowls, but you can do them any way you want. Um, we absolutely love these. They are so filling and so satisfying. Um, the reason that we use feta cheese is because with the inflammation, um, the low infl inflammation um, way of eating, we cannot have dairy. So, um, but we can have feta cheese and that is just a delicious added bonus to these bowls. So I'm gonna cut up some of these Kalamata onion, um, keep saying onions, <laughs> olives, because those give it such a pop. And then I'm gonna make a sauce to go over all of this. So I will show you that. I'm gonna make a sauce for our power bowls. Um, one of the things that I really like for the power bowl is this ginger vinaigrette that we get at Aldi's. It is simply amazing. And it's got good ingredients, believe it or not. Um, <clears throat> so I like this on all my salads and I really like it on my power bowl as well, along with some pickled ginger, which is simply amazing. But. Jedediah really likes this yogurt dressing, so I'm gonna show you how we make it. We get this amazing new noise, I'm thinking, is this what the yogurt is called, because I'm not able to really make yogurt right now, um, just because we're in between uh, where we're at. So this one comes in a clay crock, guys. It is from Arkansas when we were down at the Whole Foods Market. They sold this, and it is simply the most delicious Greek yogurt we've ever had. It is like, it is almost like sour cream. It is so thick and delicious. You don't need anything besides this on your potatoes or wherever you're gonna use sour cream. This is the bomb, but it's yogurt. So the way I'm gonna make this is I'm gonna do like a half a cup of mayonnaise and a half a cup of this plain yogurt. And then of course, uh, this Creole sauce. 
It is simply amazing. I know that sounds crazy, but it's delicious. And then a squeeze of lime. And oh, you know what? For these power bowls, you can really use any kind of sauce that you like. This is one that we like, so I'm just gonna kind of show you how I'm gonna throw this together. Very, very simple. I'm just gonna do a half a cup of just regular full fat mayonnaise. If you use, you know, low fat, that's fine as well. If you make your own, that's good too. And we love making our own, but just don't have the time at this point. And I'm just really doing things very simple right now just because we're in a tiny little kitchen and I have limited things. So what I have, that's what I'm using. Okay, so then I'm gonna use a half a cup. It's taken everything out of me to use this because it is so good. And what's wonderful is when you're done, this is like a little crock that you can use as a mug or anything else, which is so wonderful, I love it. And it wasn't real expensive either. So we were quite impressed. We thought we would give it a try when we were down there. I'm all about trying to get things that don't come in plastic, so to speak, you know, trying to get away from the plastics. And when we saw this, it was like, yes, this is a go. And we have loved it. And we're actually thinking, gosh, we need to get a set of those. Those would be really nice for like tea or coffee. Okay little bit there and watch this mmm it is so good you know how some yogurt has like the real um, um, real strong you know flavor this is so mild what I think they have done is when I make Greek yogurt is I let it sit and get all the way out of it so it's thicker I think they went one step further and just let it sit and it's almost to a point where it's a cheese because you could spread this on something and use it as a cheese. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna get a measuring spoon. And this stuff is, um, Tony, I can never say, <laughs> Chachery, there we go, Tony Chachery. Okay, um, it's pretty strong because this is a Cajun. And so you don't need very much. So I'm gonna go with, you know, this is a teaspoon. I don't think I'm gonna do quite that much and I'll just see where we're at because it's delicious. It's just so yummy. And then I'm just gonna do a squeeze of lime in there. Oh, yummy, yummy. Makes my mouth water just thinking about it. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this and then I'm just gonna taste. I think I'm gonna, I can already tell I'm gonna need quite a bit more because it's not turning the color that he likes. He likes it pretty strong. I'm just gonna pour a little bit more in like this. So probably a full teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon and a half, depending on your liking. Try this and see what you think, guys. Let me see. Oh my, so good. So, so good. So it's just a half a cup of mayonnaise, a half a cup of plain yogurt of your choice, this is a thick Greek yogurt, so it's not as runny. As you can tell, it's thicker. Look at that. So it could be spread on sandwiches even. And then a teaspoon of Tony Chachery's <laughs> Creole seasoning. His seasoning is the bomb. You need to start using that if you haven't yet. We put it on chicken and meat, whatever. It is just delicious. So. I've got that sauce done for them. For me, I love the ginger. So I will be doing the ginger. Hallelujah, the beans are done. It took forever. Only because I do a soak for like, I forgot to soak them last night. So I did a three hour soak in the Instant Pot and then let it run for like 50 to 60 minutes. So it is done. So I'm gonna get the beans out of there, do a quick release and show you how we throw these bowls together. Okay guys, the beans are done, the meat is done, everything's done. So now what I'm gonna do is put together a couple of different bowls for you. I'm gonna start with this big one. 
because I just kind of want to show you, you it's not necessary you know that you have a huge bowl like this because you can have a small one as well but I just kind of want to show you if you're just starting this how you can layer all of this so I'm going to start with quinoa this is going to be Jean's bowl so I'm just going to put quinoa off to the side like that then I'm grab another spoon then I'm going to put beans and what you do is you kind of just put them next to each other like so now I'm going to do meat I'm going to put the meat on this side and it's just kind of fun because what you're doing is you're just putting different you know components um, and then you're just going to kind of eat it and what you do is just kind of mix it together but it's kind of fun to do it this way you could just stack it all on top of like the quinoa or the rice but it's fun to just kind of layer it like this okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the vegetables and I'm just going to put like so I'm going to put some cucumber then some radish and see what I'm going to do with the olives is I'm going to sprinkle those all over Jean and I are the only ones that like the feta cheese so I have some feta cheese and I'm going to sprinkle that over the top then we're going to go for the cilantro we love cilantro and eat your cilantro especially now because it pulls heavy metals and with 5g and everything going on it's important to do that okay so then what I'm going to do is you can put for like a, having a crunchy element to it you can add these crispy jalapeno uh, pieces or you can add sunflower seeds all of this is so delicious you can do what you want there's no specific way to make a bowl and that's the fun thing is one night we can do this the next night we may do it with brown rice and we may use chicken and we may use you know different vegetables this is a wonderful anti-inflammatory meal and it's just really really good for you all of these um, different components here are absolutely delicious and are full of vitamins and minerals and nu and nutrients okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put some pickled ginger again it's not necessary we love it we have a sweet friend who makes it for us yummy okay and so for then this one Jean is like like me we love the ginger dressing so i'm going to go ahead and put the ginger dressing and you don't even have to put a dressing if you don't want to it is delicious the way it is because um, the meat has already been seasoned and you know I also season my quinoa so everything has already been seasoned and then I put some salt in my beans so you don't have to put a dressing it just kicks it up a notch okay so that's one and then I'm going to show you the same pretty much the same thing but this one I'm just going to kind of Put together differently so I'm gonna put the rice and so this one I'm just gonna stack and then for those that are making it in like mason jars to take to work this is kind of how you would do it you would stack your components so rice beans then we'll put a layer of meat depending on how much you want like so then I'm going to start with the veggies and always I have avocado here put that last always on the top and also don't start your avocado till you are ready to eat because it turns brown a little bit of radish a little bit of the olives a little bit of the feta cheese and then with this one I'm going to put some sunflower seeds and some pieces of jalapeno just to kick it up a notch and then with this one I'm going to add some of this yogurt dressing to the top so if you were putting this in like your mason jar you might put your dressing separate so that it doesn't get soggy and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple pieces of avocado on the top so here are two um, completely different bowls they will taste different even though they have some of the same components um, this one having some of the jalapenos the tony chachery dressing the avocado on top and some um, sunflower seeds for a crunch so anyway guys 
This was just one of the meals that I told you I was gonna to bring to you, an anti-inflammatory dinner. This could be a lunch. It can even be breakfast. Quinoa can be eaten with eggs, um, and you can add these components for breakfast as well. So anyway, guys, I hope that you will try some of these. Let me know some of the bowls that you all might make. Um, and if you have never done it before, let me know if you do try it and how you have put yours together. Again, you could make it with eggs. You could do whatever. So I said I was going to share some with you, and so here they are. So anyway, guys, um, I hope that you all are doing well. We um, are freezing here in Missouri. It's cold. <laughs> uh, so ready for spring. But if you, are a new, um, if you are new to our channel, a new subscriber, welcome. And for those that have not subscribed, we ask that you please do so. We are nearing 5,000 subscribers and we could really use your help to push us over. <laughs> and if you're enjoying our videos, give us a thumbs up and ring that notification bell and you'll be notified when we have another video. But I'm gonna end for now and we will catch you on the next one.